wizara ya, uh, ya World Dive and Tourism na tunasema kwamba amefanya kazi mzuri kwa sababu Kilimon hii siku hizi itakuwa ya utalii. Tumkaribishe na makao mazuri jameni. Asante karibu sana. Asante. Asante sana mheshimiwa governor, mheshimiwa rais, mheshimiwa naibu wa rais, magavana leo hapa. Ndugu dada zangu wa baraza la mawaziri wabunge walio hapa viongozi wengi wa tafua serikali kalpa sijaongea hata kwa kujulisha wananchi muone wale viongozi tulio nao hapa hivi leo tuko na waziri wa mambo ya mazingira mheshimiwa Soipan Tuya akisimama hizi muweze kumuona yuko hapa waziri wa mambo ya mazingira tuko pia na waziri mtoto wenu wa mambo ya biashara Rebecca Miano yuko hapa tuko na makatibu wa mawaziri wa wizara tofauti Tuko na Silva Museya uh, aliye hapa akiwa pia na Patrick Mariro wa mambo ya defense na Mugambi Getonga akiwa hapa wa mambo ya forestry. Tuna pia board tofauti tuna board ya WRTI board kiongozwa na Governor Dr. Ndikedienye wako hapa wasimame pia wananchi waweze kuona board yuko hapa ya mambo ya RTI KWS board pamoja na maofisa wa KWS wakiongozwa na Lieutenant General Koipaton pia wako hapa wakiwa wako hapa Tourism Fund Chair yuko hapa uh, mtoto wenu pia bwana Some na timu yake na viongozi tofauti wa serikali akiwako pia uh, Comptroller State House Kato Ole Metito pia tunawekezaji na marafiki wetu katika kazi hii tuna Dr James Mwangi aliyo hapa uh, representatives of World Bank na viongozi wengine walio hapa wananchi ya mjambo nitasoma kwa ufupi kwa lugha ya kiingereza your excellency every week i receive a report of human wildlife cases that have arisen in the past week and my heart breaks when i hear of people being killed and maimed because of the interactions with the elephants hippos buffaloes snakes and other animals what is even more painful is the fact that for the last seven years, we have really been unable to properly compensate widows, widowers, sons and daughters and parents who have lost loved ones. Today, my heart is warmer as we launch this modern digital scheme that will not only accelerate the compensation program, but also enable us to work with others to raise more funds to compensate the affected. Your Excellency, it is better and cheaper to prevent conflict than to compensate. When you appointed me into this position, I embarked on a major mitigation program to protect our people and wildlife. For instance, the fencing program that you launched earlier on is critical to keeping animals in their home and Wanainchi at their homes. This phase one has a budget of 300 million shillings and will be laying 350 kilometers of electric fence. We'll soon be embarking on phase two for another 350 kilometers. I like the statements and the sentiments given by Governor Elite from uh, Samburu. Nataka kuhakikisha kwamba mambo ya corridors tumefactor katika fencing yetu. Ya kwamba kuna maeneo ambayo tunaacha ambayo utakuwa tukifungua ndio wanyama waweze kutembea, kwenda ziara zao na kurudi ikiwa ni desiri yao kwa muda mrefu. In addition to the fencing your excellency, we are undertaking construction of water ponds for 90 and animals. And I want to thank my chairman uh, of the tourism committee, Chris uh, Chiambuki, and uh, for the support, because we are digging dams and boreholes for community members, not only for the animals. We are opening up corridors. We are initiating an education program and rapid response by KWS, production and provision of snake venom. Your Excellency, we have tasked the WRTI, Dr. Mondi is here and his team, and uh, we have a program where we want to produce our own snake venom. Hatutaki kusikia kwamba mtu ameuawa na nyoka katika nchi yetu ya Kenya. Tunataka tuweke hii dawa ya kutibu kuumwa na nyoka katika kile eneo la nchi yetu, kutoka kusini mpaka kila mahali. Ndio wananchi ukiumwa na nyoka unajua unaweza kimbia to the nearest health center, unadungwa shindano, haufariki. Uweze kuishi maisha kama vile wengine wanaishi kule ngambo. Your Excellency this is part of your agenda for conservation and protection of our habitat. We want, by the end of this year, not to hear of major cases of human wildlife conflict anymore. 
I wish to thank my principal secretaries, the brilliant Ms. Sylvia Museya and the amazing John Ololtua, who we also call our tourist attraction, for their commitment to this vision. I also wish to thank the teams under the ministry for their excellent work. Your Excellency, let me spend just a few minutes to talk about tourism. In the last two weeks, I have visited and held critical meetings with the leadership of 11 counties, Samburu, Kitui, Taitataveta, Narok, Makueni, Kwale, Kiambu, Bungoma, Busia, Kajado, and yesterday and today the, with the governor and the teams from Laikipia. I'll be visiting other counties because they're all important and vital for tourism and wildlife conservation. Together with the governors and leaders, we have agreed on what needs to be done to grow tourism by improving circuits, identifying new products, and providing a conducive environment to attract and prolong the stay of tourists. Focus has also been on how to ensure local communities, the unemployed youth, women, fathers, and others are empowered as they benefit from tourism as we roll back poverty. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, Kenya is an amazing country, as you aptly put it the other day, Your Excellency. Our beauty is unmatched. Whereas some countries have large deposits of oil and mineral deposits, in Kenya we have tourism as our natural resource. I am convinced, as you are, that we can bring the whole world to Kenya and make a lot of money from tourism and conferencing. We are not just looking at increasing the number of visits, but also the value of tourism. To achieve this, I have been discussing with leaders on how we can create the proper environment and services, including comfort areas and new adventure circuits in order to attract and retract, reattract tourists. Your Excellency, yesterday the governor of Lekipia, Joshua Ingrungu, showed me an area that is akin to paradise, which we talked about today, the Kirumun National Reserve. This morning, in a meeting with his team, the senator, members of parliament, national assembly, members of county assembly, like you of Likipio County, and also with yourself, we have agreed to work together to grow this as part of the bigger plans that we will be discussing with you, namely the Kenya Rhino Range expansion and the Southern Conservation Initiative, among many others. Finally, Your Excellency, the other day, I met a man you might know, one Yul Wenga, who together with his wife Henke migrated to Kenya from Germany 36 years ago and set up a restaurant called Yul's in the Baburi Beach area of Mombasa. Yul's employs over 100 Kenyans and Yul's loves Kenya so much that he has become a citizen. The other day he told me that for the first time in 35 years of operating, he has clients all the time, including this month, when in the past numbers would be dipping. He asked me to thank you for your free visa program and the work your government is doing in tourism. I told you that we have a plan. The plan is we are going to eliminate high season and low seasons. We are only going to have one full tourism season here in Kenya. Your Excellency, with your guidance, we are going to awaken and rekindle sleeping giants such as Malindi, the Abadeas, and the Savo ecosystem, among many others. Truly, with the Kenya Kwanzaa government, Mbele Iko Sawa. Thank you, on Shante. Your Excellency, let me take this moment to invite my two colleagues to just say a few words, starting with the Minister for Environment, uh, Madam Soipan Tuya. Karibu, Waziri. 